Hi folks, today's video is another unboxing. It's the Snap Circuits Junior Plus. So folks, I've bought this for myself as I've been getting really interested in electronics. But because I've got no skills, like I can't solder, I've never handled little fiddly components, this really appealed to me as it makes assembly really easy. Scout's interested, he's coming mm. over to have a look. Those you was interested. Hi, Scout. So let's have a closer look at this. We've got these snap fastening things, which are basically like your wires would be. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. If you were making a proper circuit up, you know, on a, on a proper yeah. board. Just try, try snapping them on, snapping them. See how they, work. they look like Prestos you'd find on coats. Don't yeah, they? they like giant Prestos. And you can see the wire underneath as well, can't you? Just the metal contacts. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the yeah. the wire. Yeah. Okay. So this is the equivalent of a breadboard, which I want to move on to. You know, when I've done some practice with this. That's quite um, quite a sturdy piece of plastic. So we just have a single resistor. Mm -hmm. It stays on, it's 100 ohms. And it's got the electrical circuit symbol behind it. Yeah. The American one. You get two switches. A couple of switches, yeah. So you've got, um, there's a, a push button switch. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe this sort slide of switch? switch. A slide that, switch. That's mo the one at the bottom is also a momentary action. When you press it, it's on for as long as you hold it down. All oh, right. Where's the other one? Mm. It's like once it's switched on, it's, it stays on. Mm. Photo transistor. It's something that detects light. Right. This is a light emitting diode. I'm sure we've all seen one of those in yes. all sorts of equipment. But, um, what is that dog doing? <laughs> he's just he's just poking his head above the, the box. <laughs> I don't actually know what that is. Can you tell me what that is? WC water closet. I know. Um I don't know, but what's on the back of it? Oh, it's one of those piezoelectric buzzers type things. Right. That must be the circuit symbol for it. Right. Okay, so now we've got a speaker. Yep. And uh, is that a symbol? That's the electronic symbol for it in your circuit diagrams, and they put SP in to indicate speaker as well. There's your uh, battery box. Oh, yeah. Putting your batteries in. It's got the right symbol in there as well. What's this? Let's have a look at the back. That's some sort of LED, isn't it? But it's an LED. Some sort. Of uh, that funny thing on the top of it, also. I wonder why they, uh, why they made it like that. Don't maybe know. Maybe it's just a bright white light. Maybe that's for um, ventilation so it doesn't get too hot, maybe. A motor. A motor, yes. Ooh. So you get one motor with this kit. Mm hmm. So these are modules, aren't they? Yeah, so you don't get to see inside these. You don't get to see individual electronic components. It's a module, it's a cluster of electronic components wired together to do a certain thing. So I don't think I'm actually going to be using the three modules that are included in this kit because I don't think I would learn that much from using modules. Plus, I would like to use some modules in the future as I move on, but not these particular modules. What are, what are these, Paul? Are these for... Those look like uh, connecting connect batteries? your battery yeah. to the circuit. Yeah. Right, for connecting the battery to the circuit, mm. right. Uh, I think this goes on top of the motor for making yeah, it spin so round. you can tell it spin round. Yeah. yeah. It... There's a parts list in the front of the manual with all the parts listed. It also says at the bottom that you may order additional or replacement parts at our website. So it's good that you can buy replacement parts and extra parts this way, but they do tend to be expensive buying them individually. So what I've done is I've found a kit the same as mine, second hand, very cheap on eBay 
and I've bought that so that I can double up on the components that I want. So what I'm going to do in the rest of this video is I'm going to assemble the first project in this book just to show you how these snap circuits work and then after that I'm going to assemble a circuit that's in the book that I've been reading where you take some measurements of a multimeter so I'll show how these snap circuits could be used to do something different that's not in this project's manual. So they make things as easy as possible. They mark up with a letter and a number each component. So the battery box, and that's marked B1. The switch, and that's marked S1. Need uh, three snap circuit bits and that's mark three and we need that lamp component that's marked up L1 so it makes it really really easy you also have got with these the symbols that you would see in circuit diagrams so here we've got the, the proper symbol for a switch got the proper symbol for batteries and it also gives you the voltages as well this is three three volts because it's two double a batteries and it tells us that the lamp component is three volts so yeah it can be as simple as just following the numbers and the letters and copying or it can be making up your own circuits by for by following a circuit diagram and looking for the correct components. So I'll start by attaching the battery box and we've got these little things that plug into the snap fasteners. Now we want the switch and the lamp and then we just Clip that onto the battery and the board and let's see if the lamp switches on. Yay! We have lift off. And this is what it says in the manual. Electric light and switch. Objective to show how electricity is turned on or off with the switch. Build the circuit shown on the left by placing all the parts with a black one next to them on the base grid first, then assemble parts marked with a two, and install two AA batteries, not included, into the battery holder. When you close the slide switch, current flows from the batteries through the lamp and back to the battery through the switch. The closed switch completes the circuit in electronics, this is called a closed circuit. When the slide switch is opened, the current can no longer flow back to the battery, so the lamp goes out. In electronics, this is called an open circuit. So now I'm going to follow this circuit diagram and I'm going to assemble it using the snap circuits kit. And then I'm going to take some readings with a multimeter and the point of this is to show how um, Ohm's law works, isn't it? So mm. you can use Ohm's law to work out. So you're going to use Ohm's law to calculate the value of the resistor. That's right. Because you're, yes. pretend, you're going to pretend that you don't know the value of the yeah. resistor. Okay. Yeah. That stands for current through the resistor and that's ah, what I'm oh. looking that's what I'm looking for, isn't it? Yes, you're going to measure that with a multi yeah, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to be measuring the voltage, voltage across, over the across the resistor, across the resistor yeah. as well. So here it is assembled. Just need to put this last little bit in mm -hmm. to complete the circuit. Complete the circuit, yeah. Make it a closed circuit. It's mm -hmm. open circuit at the moment. So pop that on. 
so there's no current flowing around that circuit. So I'm going to measure the voltage first. I'm borrowing Paul's multimeter. Got the leads in the correct place. Got the uh, leads in the sockets. correct place. It's measuring volts. volts. You got the selector switch. Selector switches on volts. On volts. Okay. I can't remember which way round you put these, but as you said, Paul, if it's wrong, I'll soon know because it'll be a minus sign. On the multimeter screen, yeah. So, mm -hmm. where's what one and that one? And that's saying, oh, it's not saying minus, so it's right. So, you, that's so right. it's 3.14, so 3.15. This voltage was 3.15. One five volts. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to measure the current next. Isn't it? Right. So measuring the current. So I need it in amps or mm -hmm. milliamps. Should I put it in milliamps? Yeah. Put it in milliamps. You should be all right. And put yeah. the leads in the right sockets as well, so you can get. The so I've got to get the volt. This is in voltage take, at the moment. Yeah, take the red but lead we out. want it in. Stick it in the milliamps. MA socket. milliamps. Just double check you're on the milliamp setting. Yeah. Okay, so that's all set up, ready for measuring current through the circuit. So now I need to make a break in the circuit. Yeah, you need to break the circuit. So I can take this off. So power is no longer flowing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to complete the circuit by clipping the ammeter in. And it's there's no negative signs. It's so I've got right. right. Yeah. Oh. And it's 31.89 milliamps okay 31.89 milliamps that's right and then i can do my calculation to find out the value of the resistor over ir oh you're using the the symbol for the memory thing the uh yeah you know, the ohm's law yeah yeah so that's just a way of remembering it yeah it's... what do you want to calculate you want to calculate I want the, resistance, the resistor so i'm dividing the voltage by the current yeah it so it's was 3.15. 3.15 3 volts is measured by the multimeter. Yeah. Divide that by... By... 31.89 uh, milliamps. 31.89 milliamps. But I've got to convert the milliamps into amps first. To to I've got to divide it by 1,000. So you just shift the decimal so it, point to the left three times, don't you? To the left, yes. Yeah, so that's... Uh, 0.31 yeah, 0.0 That's amps. amps. Yeah. 3.15 divided by 0.3189 equals 98.8 ohms. 98.8 ohms. Yeah. 100 ohms, and I'm getting just under 99 mm -hmm. measuring it. So, folks, that was just a demonstration of how you can use this kit to assemble a circuit that's maybe out of a book that you're following, not just sticking with the circuits that are in the manual that this kit comes with. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of this because I'm going to start a new series and I'm going to call it Introductory Electronics for Middle-Aged Women mm. because I think for people my age, for women my age, really uh, it's all a big mystery and we really sort of a lot of barriers there. So hopefully this will help to access electronics by having an easy way to assemble mm. components yeah looks like good fun so folks that's it for this video i hope you found that useful and interesting and maybe i'll see you in my new little series mm -hmm. for learning electronics yeah